Judy, the U.S. Capitol and Chicago's downtown federal building are 702 miles from each other. But when there is a political blockage in place, the two may as well be galaxies apart. And so tonight, the city and Illinois' northern district are into their second year without a top federal law enforcement official, the United States attorney position, gummed up by a partisan fight that has President Biden's Chicago nominee blocked by a single U.S. senator seeking retribution for the legal troubles of former President Trump. Trapped in the blockage is U.S. Attorney nominee April Perry. It takes just one senator to block a nomination, and for Perry, that senator is this man, venture capitalist and book author turned Republican politician J.D. Vance of Ohio. Is there any way to break that log jam with April Perry? Well, let me tell you, one senator, J.D. Vance of uh, uh, Ohio, has decided to stop all U.S. attorneys. And I said, why are you doing this? Under the Trump administration, we approved every single one of Trump's U.S. attorneys with a voice vote. Now you're stopping under the Biden administration, all U.S. attorneys. Why are you doing this? He said, I want to grind the Department of Justice to a halt. Illinois senior Senator Dick Durbin offered up Perry to the White House, and she was nominated by President Biden last summer. So it will soon be a year that her confirmation has been stalled. That's a quote. Grind them to a halt. It makes it difficult to get big picture work done, uh, big priorities, important hires. Very difficult to do that without a confirmed U.S. attorney at the top. Former Chicago federal prosecutor and chief ABC7 yeah, legal analyst Gil Sofer tonight says there is an unofficial clock running on April Perry's nomination. And it all depends on who wins in November. If Biden wins re-election, then she's in a good position and in time she will be appointed. But if Trump wins, it's almost a certainty that uh, that administration would not select her, and she's not likely to be confirmed in the meantime, and then she'd be out of luck. In an interview with the I-Team last month, Democrat Durbin seemed frustrated and was incensed by Vance's tactic. What a ridiculous thing to do. These people are men and women who are responsible for law enforcement at the highest levels to keep us safe from drugs and, and all the dangers of federal criminals. And here he is stopping the appointment of these individuals. We're stuck. We asked Senator Vance to do an interview and never received a reply. April Perry formerly was an assistant U.S. attorney here and chief deputy Cook County State's attorney. More recently, Perry has been working as a corporate attorney in Chicago. A few minutes ago, she emailed the I-team to say she would have no comment about the situation. Tonight, though, while we may be into the month of April, there's no reason to believe this will be April Perry's month. So there will be an acting U.S. attorney in place until and if this is broken mm. away. And we can watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.